In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find the empirical formula if you're given a molecular formula. And the key to being able to do this is to think about the definition. So the definition is that an empirical formula is the simplest whole number ratio of atoms present in a compound. So the key parts of that is the simplest. That means you cannot simplify the ratio anymore and that the result must be a whole number. So for example, C1.5H5, that is not an empirical formula because it's not a whole number. However, if we multiplied both by two, that would actually be the empirical formula because we've got whole numbers and then a ratio of three to 10, we cannot simplify that anymore. It just simply will not get simpler without introducing some decimals, which we don't want in an empirical formula. Now let's look at a worked example. So say we have the formula for glucose. This is the actual molecular formula, and it is clearly not the simplest ratio. So it is not an empirical formula. We look at the three chemicals that we have. So we've got carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And we're going to look at the ratio of carbons to hydrogens to oxygens. So we're going to copy those numbers. So we've got six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens. We're then going to divide through by the smallest number. That's a trick to simplifying a ratio. So we divide all of these by six. And that gives the ratio of one to two to one. So that's one carbon to two hydrogens to one oxygen. And then we simply apply those numbers in the correct place and we get the empirical formula. And that simply cannot be simplified any further. So we know it's an empirical formula. Hopefully, this video was helpful to you and answered the question that you needed answered. Finally, thank you very much for watching and like and subscribe.